Alright, here we are for the EX boss rush battle in Basha's event in Japan. The two bosses in this boss rush are Tiamat and then Elder Worm plus his two Triant buddy buddies. Uh, the metal conditions for Tiamat are don't die and um, hit him with an earth attack. The metal conditions for Elder Worm are don't die and hit him with a wind attack. Elder Worm is incredibly annoying with status effects. He has effectively a, a AoE bad breath that he'll spam in the second phase of the fight, so I'm bringing a sleep mage party for him um, with Gilgamesh to hit him with a wind attack. Um, Tiamat is resistant to everything except for earth attacks, so I had to bring Comet on my mages. I'm just reality of the situation. Um, and then Gilgamesh... Actually, one second. I need to move him to the front row. Originally, I had planned to have him draw fire from the back row, but I realized I needed to be on the front and then forgot to switch him. Um, Gilgamesh is using Tranquility to up his attack damage in this first fight since he can't wind jump because it absorbs wind. Um, other than that, it's fairly st straightforward. Um, really, I'm just hoping I don't have to reset too many times against Elder Worm. I'm bringing a Sentinel Scrimoire as usual, even though I am bringing um, Ishtola with me. I have her with the Halloween hat instead. Uh, Tiamat has 110,851 hit points. I expect Elder Worm will have similar, possibly lower since he has friends, but similar hit points. Uh, Tiamat's attack pattern in his normal state is he has two physical attacks he can use, single target physicals. He has a stop and he has arrow. Once he hits half health or so, he adds in an AoE fire breath and a counter attack. If I have to, I will use both charges of Sentinel's Grimoire here. Um, a, I have the backup in Ishtola, and B, I don't anticipate taking a lot of damage in the Elder Worm fight, because I intend to do it. Um, I, with him, slept as much as possible. I might as well use all the Earth charges here, because they'll do more damage. Um, well, and I can't do a whole lot of damage to him because he resists holy. I'll probably throw in some attacks, though, just to be have her do something. I did upgrade to my heals to Kuraja's, as you might notice. I had been using Kuraga in previous events, but I decided it was time to, to upgrade. that to be a little more dangerous. That does mean he's in phase two, by the way. Oh. Oh, right, his counter is counter reflect. That's gonna cause problems. I thought his counter was a counter attack. It is not. I get for reading my own boss guides. At least now I can bounce magic off of Lena.
Uh, Sentinels has worn off, but should not be an issue. Because BB should kill him here. So other than the me not reading closely and being surprised by Reflect, that was fairly straightforward. Um, I think this fight mo mostly exists to be incredibly annoying in forcing you to mold your team competition around it in preparation for the next fight. Um, the Elite Dungeon version of Elder Worm is one of the most frustrating fights I've, I've done, but I don't believe that version is actually going to sleep, so... Hopefully, this will go easier on me. I know that version can't petrify people like this one can. This one can slow, petrify, blind, silence, sleep, or confuse in phase one. They're all single target, but I'll have to reset if I get a petrify because I did not bring an Asuna. Um, and then the second phase, Spore Fall does confuse, slow, sli silence, blind, and poison on everyone. The... Treants are mo mostly just annoying for casting buffs. They, they have phys uh, physical attacks, but only single target. Hundred and five thousand eight hundred eighty seven for Elder Worm and three thirty nine thousand eight five hundred and fifty two for the Treants. Gilgamesh isn't really going to be doing much anyway in this fight. I probably should have tried to fit some kind of dispel because of I knew that that these guys were going to shell and protect all the worms. But oh damn it, Gilgamesh isn't going to get the heal. The downside to jump. Of course, bringing this spell doesn't help much when all they do is buff the Elder Worm. So. Let's put this thing to sleep if I can. Of course not. Make this whole thing much easier if I could just put it to sleep. Yeah, the game doesn't, s or the uh, strategy side doesn't say that they counter with Protect and Shell, but I'm pretty sure they actually do. I really want the dragon to be asleep before... Um, it gets to 50% and switches to spore fall mode. Because the spore fall will wreck me. Theoretically, the treants can be silenced. Uh, I opted not to bring a silence because I was already kind of short on ability uses, but 
Yeah, I think they counter magic damage on themselves with shell on the treant and physical damage on themselves with uh, protect on the treant or the elder worm runner. Okay, finally put it to sleep. And I have hit the Elder Worm with wind damage, so I can go ahead and just... Um, go all out on damage now. S such as it is with the thing shelled. I'm just gonna have to leave Gilgamesh in reserve until I've got him close enough to soul break to death or whatever. Put it back to sleep at this point. It doesn't. Uh, it's not at any danger of waking up quite yet, but it's with only a 30% chance to actually work. It's best to just do it early. Uh, sooner it'll be in a range where Gilgamesh's soul break will finish it off. Just gotta get a couple more hits in, I think. Set BV going and then so great. Uh, so, yeah, this is. I very, very, very strongly recommend using. trying to do a sleep setup because I avoided him using Spore Fall on me, which I. <laughs> It's it's one of the most aggravating things. It's, it's like fighting the Lunasaurs in uh, in the Final Fantasy IV Lunasaur Dream. It's just an incredibly aggravating fight because he will just spam it every other turn and completely eliminate your ability to do anything but die slowly. Anyway, that's this fight. The new ability that I ended up got here is Confuse Shot, which does what it says in the can. It's a 60% chance to confuse, and then if the target's already confused, it um, deals extra damage. But of course, then unconfuses the target weapon. This is not a, one of the better shots, in my opinion. And then Vaughn's going to be first go too. Alright, I'll be back shortly for the EX Plus fight. See you then.